Welcome to the webinar on our exciting topic of discussion today. I'm Novita and I'm delighted to be your host for this event. A warm welcome, honorable, to Dr. Elsan Orujov HD as an instructor at the Economy and Business School from Western Caspian University, Azerbaijan, PhD Safko Oksana Yaroslavitna as an associate professor of Enterprise Economy Department. National Ivano Fransky Targeted Technical University of Oil and Gas from the Ukraine, to the Honorable Miss Erlinda Soliha MM as a lecturer of management department from Sinesticom Indonesia, and last but not least, also to the Honorable Guest and Audience. Before we begin, I'll just allow me to read our agenda this afternoon. First, there will be start with Indonesia national anthems and continue with the presentation by our speaker today and continue with the group photo for documentation purpose. Finally, we'll wrap up with closing remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, this event will we'll start uh, from, we will live stream on Universitas Tecom YouTube channel. And also, ladies and gentlemen, to start our program today, let's begin with a helpful rendition of the Indonesia National Anthems. For our operator today, you may begin this session. Thank you. In the upcoming segment, let's explore the vaccinating world of how to know if you are if you're meant to be entrepreneur. Now let us welcome our first presenter, Miss Erlinda Solia MM, as a lecturer of management department TOS Tecom from Indonesia. For Miss Erlinda, the time is yours. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Miss Novita, for the time to me. Can you hear my speech? Okay. Okay, good afternoon to all uh, participants and audience today for so, uh, webinar today. And Honorable Rector of Tecom University, uh, Dr. Joseph Teguh Santoso Mkom, and Honorable to all, uh, to all speakers today. Dr. Elsan Oroju, PhD. So, uh, Safko Oksana, PhD. Before I present uh, my uh, material today, may I introduce myself? Uh, I'm, uh, my name is Erida Soliha, a lecturer in Tecom University, and I want to share 
uh, about material today and presented about uh, material today. And today we will uh, sharing together, sharing knowledge about digital technology and business opportunities for the young generation. Okay, and operator. Okay, thank you. Okay, to all participants and audience of our webinar today, we will uh, together and sharing together about digital technology and business opportunities for the young generation. Next. Okay. Let's see that a new phenomenon that has emerged in entrepreneurship is entrepreneur digital technology. This type of entrepreneur can remove the boundaries of limited resource and product scalability faced by entrepreneurs. Entrepreneur digital technology is start to bloom, especially in universities and companies. The growth is there to in institution can potentially develop young millennial entrepreneurs. So, digital technology entrepreneurship, the potential for developing millennial businesses with a triple helix model. For the first is government, so second companies, and third is universities. Universities, companies, and government play an important role in developing the potential of millennial entrepreneurs. This potential will continue to grow through the digital technology entrepreneurship because resources for developing this type of entrepreneurship are available both in universities and companies. Okay, next. Okay. To all participants, let's see that digital technology entrepreneurship has a tremendous impact on the world. If we know that digital businesses will to internet networks such as Google, Facebook, or Microsoft has been able to change the world and form communication pattern without geographical barriers. For the next. Okay, the next. Next slide. Digitalization also has an impact on the development of new entrepreneurs. The potential for new business development has increased due to opportunities for digitalizing business brands and changing business from offline to online. And then firstly, if we uh, come back uh, about uh, the first all uh, customer is by about uh, offline. And then so new in digital era to online. The positive impact of digitalization on entrepreneurship also occur in promotion innovation. So creating job opportunities and increasing social and economic productivity so that it becomes a priority for governments in various countries. Digital business is selling products or services to electronic networks. So the digital, uh, the digital economy allow entrepreneurship to create business area through e-commerce. Okay, the next. Okay, let's see the digital revolution today. Uh, today in a uh, digital uh, era, the digitalization has revolutioned all aspects of life. If we see uh, about transportation, so ticketing, or uh, food and beverage service, so other is uh, what? Um, uh, the other, yes. Yeah, uh, digital revolution is uh, can all activity daily activity about uh, customer is revolution in digital era. Okay, the next. Okay, 
about growth of social media platform and main resource reason for using. From the first is uh, a growth of social media platform. Okay. According of data, this data from the graphic that Indonesia will have 161 million active social media used by January uh, with trends so uh, that the use of social media in Indonesia continues to grow every year with a significant growth of social media users and the popularity of platforms such as WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Telegram in Indonesia, it can be said that social media has become an important part of people's life in this country. Social media is means of communication and a tool to share content, search for information, and engage in online social interaction. In addition, the continuous growth of social media users so that this platform has great potential for various business, marketing, and communication purpose in Indonesia. Thus, businesses need to understand the trend and behavior of social media users in Indonesia to optimize their presence in this rapidly growing digital space. And then the other part is about main reason for using social media. If we see about uh, data or graphic in here, we see that there are uh, the high level about for the first is why the customer uh, using social media for the first is keeping in touch with friends and family. Maybe the other in high level other, they are finding inspiration for things to do and buy. And then the other about uh, integration about the business is finding finding production to purchase. Uh, this is the integration about uh, main reason for using social media and business. Okay, the next. Okay. And then next is, let me see about online shopping activities in Indonesia. For the first, uh, can we see about internet? So second, we can see about uh, activity uh, social media and then online shopping activity in Indonesia. Based on data on the graphic, Indonesian internet users have purchased product or service online and increased from the previous year. That means that more than half of the country's internet users are injured in e-commerce. So regarding the type of product purchase, we see that it shows that Indonesian are no ordering groceries online. Yes or not? Uh, that uh, the, uh, the customer yeah, no ordering uh, groceries by online, not offline. A significant increase from the previous years and e-commerce is becoming an increasingly popular way to shop for daily necessities. So, and the next uh, that uh, is the increase in second-hand purchase. Maybe a uh, customer today want uh, to have a uh, willing to buy uh, second-hand purchase uh, where Indonesian buy second-hand goods online. It is also a significant increase from the previous year. So the conclusion here is that Indonesian e-commerce market is a first to be recorded with, with over half of the country's internet user activity engaging in e-commerce. It's clear that the, this market is rapidly evolving and expanding. Thus, it is important for entrepreneurs to keep up with the trend and data to help businesses navigate this dynamic market. Okay, next.
And then next is essence of digital technology. If we talking about uh, technology, how about essence of digital technology? Why the customer or why the people or young generation today want to uh, adopt about digital technology? The essence of digital technology for the first is modeling the reality of life with more efficient or cheap, fast, so wet range, far reach, and control of program. And then the second reason is creating possibilities or unlimited or access about uh, distance or uh, about community or uh, uh, about the uh, uh, the large communication in here about uh, if we use digital technology is unlimited. So the stuff is change the way thing work. So and the last the essence of digital technology is changing life relationship and then the distance from the large uh, uh, population or the large uh, uh, countries or the other uh, Region, uh, we can uh, 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 utilize by the digital technology here. Okay, the next. Okay, and then if uh, we know about digital technology, how we grow or we uh, get or we uh, build the uh, business. And then they are the key of entrepreneurship. For the first is innovation, of course. The people who want to build the business, he uh, must be innovation. He will have innovation. So the second is uh, creativity. And then next is collaboration. Uh, of course, uh, a business there uh, cannot be uh, integration must be integrated about uh, the other people or the other the other uh, investor or the other uh, men. And then uh, next is teamwork, of course. So the next is integrity and the last is networking. There are uh, six here is key of entrepreneurship if we want to be young generation who with uh, uh, business, uh, we must have innovation, we must be innovation, creativity, so collaboration, teamwork, integrity, and have networking. Okay, the next. And then, how about the spirit and attitude of entrepreneur? For the first is, can read the opportunities. We, uh, we must have uh, the or we can, we must read the opportunities and can create the opportunities about how the opportunities today. We want to build business about uh, the famous one, about our the legend one, about food or different, or maybe about the service or uh, the other. Yeah. Uh, and then the result uh, uh, oriented. How about the result oriented in here? It, it means that a person who always prioritizes task and result is uh, one who always prioritizes persistence and hard work and is profit oriented, of course. So the next is discipline and then uh, detail and the last is risk taking. And then who want to build a business about uh, maybe millennial generation or young generation, we must uh, can risk taking. An entrepreneur prefer a more challenging business to achieve success or failure than less challenging business. Entrepreneur fight love a low risk situation because there is no challenge and avoid high risk situation because they want to success. And then uh, about risk and success here, if success, and then if we want to be success, uh, we can uh, 
we must risk taking and uh, take the uh, risk here to be a success. Okay, the next. Okay, and the next is about characteristic of the millennial or young generation. How to build business in here uh, if uh, we are young generation or millennial generation or uh, generation Z and the other. Yeah. There are uh, the specific characteristic about a uh, young generation. Okay, for the first is technology literate, of course, uh, if we want uh, to build the business, of course, uh, we must know about uh, the technology or the product or profit oriented and the other. And then the characteristic of young generation have it is the technology literate. So the second rely on search engine. So uh, the third interest with multimedia. And then next is learning by doing and the last is create internet content uh, okay next okay let's see uh, here if we uh, know yeah uh, the phenomenon today that conventional customer versus digital customer how about uh, conventional customer today maybe uh, the most of customer is moved to digital customer. That the internet and smartphone have proven to successfully stimulate change in customer behavior in the current era. Everything is manual when customers are still unfamiliar with the internet and smartphone, that productivity cannot be maximized. For example, when shopping before knowing the internet and smartphone, all shopping activities will still very conventional. Go to market or go to uh, the other place uh, to uh, buy something or purchase something for product or service and come to store or market bargaining the price if you can and then return to home. And here, however, since the advent of the internet and smartphone, we can shop at work, maybe at school, at home, or everywhere, anywhere without leaving. Okay, from the smartphone or from the gadget, we can uh, uh, get something, product, or service, uh, what we want. Okay. Uh, and then this is the difference about conventional customer and digital customer. Uh, the in digital era, maybe uh, all the customer is being and want to be digital customer. This is uh, um, optimized to life and not uh, be uh, for flexibility. And then, and the other reason. Okay, the next. Okay, and then how to be digital entrepreneur? For the first is mindset. Yeah. Okay, for to all audience or participant that in if we want to be a digital entrepreneur, for the first is team must have a mindset that digital entrepreneur are not just feeling online. There are a lot of digital business opportunities that can be done. Prospective digital entrepreneur must open up for insight about the various type of digital business model that can be implemented. So the next is knowledge about knowledge. Uh, of course, its digital uh, platform has uh, its own characteristics and social media such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Talk. For example, or the other YouTube, maybe so uh, the other platform and social media can become online platform. A digital entrepreneur need to master the platform use. And then about uh, Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok, maybe must uh, most familiar. Uh, okay, the next is access. 
akses to technology, hardware, internet, connection, and expertise is very important for digital entrepreneurs. These elements are needed to start a business digitality. Okay, the next is uh, best model, of course, about the other determinant of digital entrepreneurs. Uh, besides mindset, knowledge, and access, there are best model. We must uh, find the best model about uh, before we uh, the business. And then best model here is a digital entrepreneur needs to explore the best form of business model. A good business model is general, generally unique and difficult for competitors to uh, imitate as well as being led by customer. Okay, the next. Okay, now digital entrepreneur preparation. If uh, we know about uh, the characteristic about uh, the entrepreneur, key of entrepreneur, and how to be a digital entrepreneur, what the preparation today? Becoming a digital entrepreneur requires careful Preparation. There are several levels of preparation that must be met before starting a digital business. And then uh, there are a pyramid of the level of digital entrepreneur preparation. For the low pyramid, the low uh, level here is the first must be opening a digital business, mean opening a business 24 7, 24 hours a day at uh, seven day a week or uh, seven day a week is a uh, waiter for customer 24 hours strike and uh, one week full without uh, even a day off if uh, we say uh, or we see in indonesia the most popular is open 24 hours okay the second level is must be ready to respond the question and complain, maybe in online shop or uh, business by online or digital uh, entrepreneur here, there are admin uh, to handling response from the customer or ordering uh, the product or service. Okay, the next level is must be ready to create a support system for customer. Okay, the next level is ready for a safe and reliable payment method. Maybe payment method, there are uh, so many. Uh, uh, there are banking from banking or transferring banking or for ATM or for uh, financial technology and the other platform of payment. Okay, the next level, the high level is ready to provide quality goods as promised. Okay, and then from the first, the low level is from the time we must uh, give the time uh more and the next is response how uh, we respond to the customer if the response uh, so uh, must be uh, or must give a uh, fast response to customer uh, and then support so payment and the next hour the high level is quality of course about the product or uh, service what we purchase or we uh, so, uh, there are a quality to uh, to increase or improve uh, the brand image. Okay, the next. Okay, uh, what the young generation of tackle in entrepreneurs, maybe uh, entrepreneurship, maybe uh, there are the opportunities and there are the weakness of cycle of a uh, young generation in entrepreneur in entrepreneurship for the first is some for you maybe uh, from the work or there are the uh, other reason how the uh, young generation uh, did want to with the business uh, from the first is comfort young so fair of uncertainty the, because there are risks about risk versus success is uh, they are presentation or uh, maybe so limit or no support confuse how to start how to start all to uh, build business is 
make uh, not sure that the business can be success. So doubt about your uh, own abilities. So have experience hearing other people valid in business. Haven't found a suitable business pattern yet. And next, maybe too many consideration about the business to be run. And uh, maybe the other reason why uh, young generation of Tesla they uh, is feel like building a business network first. How about how to building a network? How to uh, have a capitality or capital model about uh, to build or to start the business? Uh, there are uh, this is maybe the reason how the young generation uh, they don't want uh, didn't want to build or start the business. Okay, the next and then the last year is. Uh, how to solve it if there are uh, obstacles of a young generation uh, or uh, uh, there are comfort yawn or uh, there is not uh, networking or how to start uh, business or there, uh, there are not the teamwork and the other. How to solve it for the first is strong determination and mentality to start. For the first is of course uh, mentality how to build or how to how to uh, start the business is uh, starting from the mental from the mentality and how uh, about determination why uh, we want to build uh, the business why we want to start the business why we sell this product or service and the other okay second is start with your interested interest and talent uh, what uh, our interest or what is our talent about uh, selling uh, what product is famous today our uh, product is uh, be booming uh, in, in this era and in this uh, maybe in this year or in this month uh, and the others and what is uh, interested uh, from the us uh, uh, about maybe about uh, food or beverage or the other. Okay, the next is have target, focus, and be consistent. And then uh, consistent here, consistent here is the key of how to build of the start uh, or up, uh, the business. Okay, the next is many learn from uh, the story of successful entrepreneur. Maybe we can learn or uh, uh, from the mentor uh, who success who success uh, in a business and maybe uh, we can uh, take the learn or take the knowledge from the mentor. Okay, the next and the last is force yourself to start and do it now. Uh, if we uh, uh, not uh, doing today, so we. Uh, when we can uh, start uh, our business. Uh, of course, in here is young generation in this era, uh, digitalization, about uh, utilization, about uh, digital technology. Okay, maybe still here my speech uh, and my presentation uh, for uh, the time and uh, after uh, the presentation, maybe uh, uh, there are questions and answers. Well. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all participants. If you have uh, questions for the Miss Erlinda, you can raise your hand or you can write in the room chat. Okay, thank you. Uh, there in the question and as well, I see there are the question from Mr. Randy. Okay, Mr. Just a moment, please see. We 
Okay. Yeah, Miss Randy, the time is yours. Maybe the speaker is unmute. Uh, just a moment. Good afternoon, Miss. Good afternoon, Miss. Uh, how do we stay consistent in business and we be able to determine business strategies to face competitors? Okay, maybe the other question? Uh, I will repeat again for the question of Ms. Tarendi. How do we stay consistent in business and be able to determine business strategy to face competitors? Okay, thanks for the question. Uh, if, uh, there are questions from Ms. Tarendi about how do we stay consistent in business and be able to determine business strategies to face Competitor. Okay, thank you for the question. Uh, the first, uh, if uh, if we talk about consistently uh, to build uh, business or to start the business, and then the consistent in here is key of entrepreneurship, and then how to uh, strategy in uh, to face competitor. There are. Maybe in digital era, the competitor is not one or two or three. Uh, of course, uh, so many about the competitor. Okay, the consistently in a business is uh, one of the attributes that can uh, make ordinary business people extraordinary, including the business they run. So it is also undeniable that uh, business person has a lot of demand that must pay attention to all aspects, starting from having to be careful in managing time. The uh, about managing time in here is key or determine the uh, most uh, important uh, to can uh, to consistently, and then the other is carefully seeing opportunities and also being uh, careful in making a decision. And then, how about managing time? How about carefully uh, opportun uh, seeing opportunities? Uh, and about uh, making a decision, this is, uh, there are, uh, it's all uh, about the uh, key uh, to consistently uh, to be an entrepreneur. Of course, uh, to be a young uh, in young generation to start uh, the business, and then uh, how to about the determine determine business uh, strategy to face competitor. Uh, the competitor is all uh, man so much in here and then in digital era so bloom and uh, so they are uh, high level how to. Uh, consistently and strategies to face competitor. For the first is responsive to customer needs. If we see about uh, pyramid level, uh, pyramid from the low is about the time and next uh, or the high level is 
uh, about quality of product or service for the first is re responsive to customer need how about need of customer how about utility of the customer we must uh, focus in uh, customer need okay the second is set competitive price uh, we must uh, give the uh, competitive price of give uh, the price uh, integration about the project and service what we sell okay the next is uh, the third is improve uh, service to customer if uh, we give the uh, the what uh, the competitive price and then we give uh, the uh, service uh, or quality of service or best service to customer maybe the customer can be uh, can uh, we can improve our uh, in brand image yeah, or product and service uh, what we sell okay the next is uh, use maybe use alternative channel or uh, alternative platform uh, if the first we sell in uh, shopee uh, so in shopee so many credit or uh, so many uh, so many uh, competitors we can uh, uh, changing to the other channel maybe or the other uh, platform maybe to uh, tokopedia or maybe in indonesia there are there is lazada or blibli or we can uh, changing to uh, so, uh, other social media uh, from maybe from tiktok to uh, uh, to instagram on the other Okay, the next is uh, the other strategy will be uh, determine market segmentation uh, about uh, market segmentation from the customer. How uh, we can reach uh, the uh, high level of customer to inject or uh, to create uh, customer loyalty. Now we can give uh, the best service and the best price to the customer and the last uh, the uh, the last strategies maybe uh, to uh, before start our business is evaluate previous uh, uh, evaluate uh, monthly maybe or short term or uh, in uh, every year on periodic uh, and here we can uh, know about uh, uh we can know about our business how impact our business uh about the uh, profit or about uh, our product to the customer maybe uh, about the uh, the other opportunities we can uh, uh bring the other strategy okay maybe uh, this is about uh, the as well or uh, about the consistently and strategy to face uh, competitor, competitor. And then in here, there is the other question from Mr. Randy. The question is, sometimes the obstacle to doing business is limited capital. How to handle it? Okay, from uh, the obstacle, maybe uh, the other obstacle, uh, from uh, my presentation, there are, uh, there is uh, the, the other obstacle uh, like uh, limited capital. How to uh, how about or how to handle it? Okay, uh, the capital maybe is uh, the key of improving our business or to start uh, our business. We have a plan or there is a uh, business planning or to uh, to start the business but if there is no uh, capital maybe not can be run or not can uh, not can be uh, what uh, what we start uh, the our business uh, okay how about uh, handle it for the first is we can search for investor by submitting a business proposal and then we can integration on weekend uh, communication to uh, 
uh, investor and searching the uh, investor who want to uh, build uh, or start the business uh, with us. Uh, and then we submit uh, proposal, business proposal to investor. Uh, if uh, investor interested, maybe uh, our business uh, can uh, start. Okay, the next uh from the other if uh can uh from the investor there is a conclusion or there is not uh the recommendation we can operating operating a business with uh pre-order system maybe mr randy uh know about uh pre-order system pre-order system uh if we uh opening or uh give or uh, give the customer by uh, pre-order system and then can uh, give us uh, the payment uh, or uh, they pay or uh, uh, payment for the first uh, before we uh, uh, we doing uh, the product okay the other is maybe uh, applying uh, for business financing to a trust bank or financial institution and then uh, there are three maybe recommendation or how to handle if we limit we have limited about the capital for the first is maybe submitted a business proposal to investor and then second uh, we can uh, operating uh, the business by uh, pre-order system and then uh, the last maybe we can uh, apply business financing uh, or model from the banking or financial uh, institution and then uh, in here we can start our business or we can build our business and then of course by managing the uh, time and managing the uh, teamwork in our business we can create best a model of business uh, uh, in uh, this uh, digital era. Okay, maybe this is my answer for the question from Mr. Randy. Okay, the time next to Mr. Uh, Ms. Novita. Thank you so much for answering. I think it's very clear as well from Professor uh, We will go to, to the second speaker, Ms. Dr. Elsa Orijo PhD as an instructor at the Economy and Business School from Western Caspian University as their major. For Dr. Elsa, time is yours. Thank you. Good day, everybody. I am Elshan Orzov, holding a PhD in economics uh, from Western Caspian University, Azerbaijan. Today, I'm going to present you a research with the title, How to Know if You Are Meant to Be an Entrepreneur. I will start my presentation uh, with the quote of Zig Zaglar. You can see here. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. So we will continue our, um, uh, my presentation actually consists of four, uh, four parts. The first part is about the difference business, businessmen and entrepreneurs. And the second part is characteristics of successful entrepreneurs. Third part is rainbow signs to become successful entrepreneurs, which I call this rainbow science because there are seven different uh, signs interacted with one another. And the fourth last one, formula of inspiration, courage, and never give up. So now, please next, oh, control this, okay. Uh, the 
here uh, we can answer who are businessmen and entrepreneurs. Actually, there are many definitions uh, for business and entrepreneurship. We will consider them as the following. The business refers to an entrepreneur, enterprising entity or organization that carries out professional activities. According to Musselman and Jackson, entrepreneurship is the investing and risking of time, money and effort to start a business and make it successful. And here down, you can see two different definitions. The businessman invests energy, resources, and time to run the business based on an already existing model. On the other hand, an entrepreneur is someone who invests energy, resources, and time to build a model that is original and has been involved from scratch. And the entre entrepreneur in an advanced economy is an individual who introduces something new in the economy, a method of production not yet tested by experience in the branch of manufacturer, concert, a product with which consumers are not yet familiar, a new source of raw material of a new markets. You can see here the differences between businessmen and entrepreneurs. The first, we should surely distinguish the businessmen entrepreneurs. Who are the businessmen and who are the entrepreneurs? A businessman is an individual who operates or starts a business with the same old ideas. But the entrepreneur is an individual with an exclusive idea to initiate and establish a new venture. While the businessman is the market player, but entrepreneur is the market leader because he is the only one in his sphere. While businessman makes his place in the market, but entrepreneur creates a market. In business, there is a risk factor. Risk factor is very less, but in entrepreneurship, risk factor is approximately high. Uh, the business is usually traditional, ordinary, but entrepreneurship is conventional. The businessman focuses on profit, but entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs focuses on employee, customer, and the public. In business, competition is extremely high, but in entrepreneurship, the competition is extremely low. And then next, we can see here the second part of my uh, presentation is the characteristics of successful entrepreneur. The first characteristic of entrepreneur is the persistent. Entrepreneurs are willing to work until a job done, no matter how long time it takes. And the second characteristic of successful entrepreneurs, we could say, is creativity. So entrepreneurs continually look for a new ways to solve all problems. The third one, characters of successful entrepreneurs are decisions and actions. Entrepreneurs don't pass the buck. They take responsibility for their decisions and actions. And the next one is inquisitive mind. Entrepreneurs want to know as much as possible about anything that might affect their ventures. They conduct research and ask questions to solve their problems. And the next one is goal-oriented. They are goal-oriented because the entrepreneurs decide where they want to go and then set out to get there. And the next one is entrepreneurs are independent. Entrepreneurs want to set their own agendas and schedules. They want to make their own decisions. Next one is self-demanding. They are very extremely self-demanding. Entrepreneurs have high expectation of themselves. And the next one, self-confidence. It's very important in entrepreneurship when you uh, start a business from scratch 
the entrepreneurs believe in themselves and act accordingly. And the next one, risk-taking. Entrepreneurs like to take risks, but they are not reckless. They seek opportunities that offer both a challenge and a reasonable chance of success. And the restless. If you are an entrepreneur, they once entrepreneurs achieve their goals, they begin looking for a new challenge. And the next uh, character is action oriented. Entrepreneurs are doers as opposed to spectators. They make decisions and act on them. And they are very enthusiastic. Entrepreneurs are energetic and passionate about their pursuits. And the, uh, and the third part of my presentation is called Rainbow Science to Become a Successful Entrepreneurs. I call this seven like science, rainbow science, because they are the seven different uh, science interacted with, within, uh, interacted with one another. So you can see here, the first one is you have explored, if you're an entrepreneur, you have explored your idea and they have a valid business plan. The second is you are willing to work hard. Third one, you have the ability to comment respect. Then you accept that you will be believing life on the edge. Fifth one, you have good people skills and know how to use them. Next, you want to be challenged. And the last one is you have a passion for what you want uh, to do. The first one is uh, you have explored your idea and you have a valid business plan. According to the Harvard Business Review, entrepreneurs who write formal plans are 16% more likely to achieve viability than the otherwise identical non-planning entrepreneurs. Uh, hard work. There are no secrets. Actually, this is uh, a quote from the Colin Powell, former Department uh, Secretary of the United States. Uh, she said, there are no secrets to success. It is the result of hard preparation, hard work, and learning from the failure. Then you have ability and uh, you have ability to comment respect. Here, you need to be able to stand up for yourself and your team, as well as your customers and brand and comment respect from others. It means standing firm about what you think is right, even when other people might disagree with you. And the next is uh, you accept that you, you will be living life on the edge anytime you can fail. So you accept that uh, starting a business involves taking risks that could lead to failure. But if you are willing to take the risks anyway, it can be a valuable opportunity for a personal satisfaction. And you have a good people skills and know how to use them. You need to work well with others and communicate efficiently with your team. To develop the skills, try and participating them in your conversation with others. You want uh, to be challenged. Actually, this is the comfort zone and the success. The success is out of comfort zone. You have to break your comfort zone to get to achieve the success. You may mean challenging yourself and getting out of your comfort zone. You may work long hours. You may need to grow as an individual and gain new skills to help your business succeed. Your success your lies outside your comfort zone. And the next is you have a passionate for what you want to do. 
One sign that you are, you are ready to be an entrepreneur is the passion. If you don't have a passionate interest in what you want to do, chances are you won't be very successful. So, and the last, and the last uh, formula, and the last part of my, see, last part of my, Uh, your face still mute, doctor. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, and the last part is the formula. Formula of the. Let us start from here. You may miss this formula of the inspiration, courage, and never give up. So. An inspiration. Cox Fund Business found that more than half of the small business owners start their own business to be their own boss. They were also motivated by the idea of creating something from the ground up. Another inspiration is that the owners usually get inspired by the famous founders and the owners to develop a technology or a current product uh, uh by the famous uh by the successful entrepreneurs uh, kanusika matsushita uh, you may know him japanese industrialist and businessman founder of panasonic uh he was also called god of management kanusika matsushita heard thomas edison's inventions and got inspired by his ideas matsushita was prompt to inspector at the age of 22, since the product they developed was not liked by the management, he resigned and founded his own company. Uh, today, Panasonic brought many innovations to the customer electronics industry with its brand. And the next, Thomas Edison, one of the most famous and first fleet investors of all the time, Thomas Edison exerted a Tremendous influence on modern life, contributing inventions such as the condensed light bulb, the phonograph, and the motion picture camera, as well as improving the telegraph and telephone. Edison began working at an early age, as most boys did at the time. At 13, he took a job as a new newsboy selling newspaper and candy on the local railroad. So opportunities don't happen. You create them. And the courage. Just do it. Entrepreneur and angel investor under a medal said, I have a family member that has been talking about quitting her job for the past five years. And I have a friend that has been talking about starting a business for 10, for the past 10 years. I see these two scenarios in my everyday in my life with different people in different areas of my life. There are hundreds of thousands of people thinking like this. So you have to just do it now and here. If you want to start your dream business, just begin. You should stop thinking. You can start making the business plan of your dream business now and here. You need courage to take the risks. There is a saying, actions speak louder than words. So it is never late. With less fear or more courage, workers take on harder projects, deal better with change, and speak up more willingly about important issues. In short, couragers, workers try more, trust more, and tell more. As a business leader and entrepreneur, your job is to put courage inside of people, to encourage, to empower them. Take the risk. Courage is the quality of that distinguishes great leaders from the excellent managers. Courageous leaders take risks that go against the grain of the organization. 
they take decision was the potential for the revolutionary change in their markets. And here you see the Amazon and Apple, uh, like uh, we could say Apple, a comparison of Apple first and the current office, like in 1976 and 2017, an example of the Apple. And another example is the Amazon uh, first office when they started. And never give up. We'll give some uh, famous quotes here. You can't fail from the first attempts, but you should never give up. You have to try uh, other ways that's correct your mistakes each time. American inventor and businessman Thomas Edison said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Actually, Thomas Edison, we would say, uh, failed 19, uh, 19 uh, times. But here he says, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. So, and another example, President, former President Barack Obama's message for American students, uh, September 8th, 2009. Some of the successful people in the world are the ones who have had most failures. You can't let your failures define you. You have to let te you have to let them teach you to show you what to do differently next time. And Elon Musk, founder of X, uh, SpaceX rocket company, his first three attempts actually failed. The first due to a fire, uh, while the next to simply failed to reach orbit. He said, I thought, okay, we could afford three lances. And then the third one failed as well. Musk said it was a very, very painful exercise. We were just too stupid to know how to make a rocket go to orbit. But he could succeed in his first launch. So, and the strength of internal potential increases the sense of purpose. You know, the entrepreneurs should have, uh, should be more uh, confident. Inner confidence gives the strength to go through all obstacles up. The, here, the result doesn't need to wait, but it is necessary to work for the result. So, uh, and here uh, we would say there are no secrets. Uh, we would actually conclude here. There are no secrets to success. It is the result of preparation, hard work, and learning from the failure. Calling power. I would add this here. Believing yourself and in your ideas. Now you are meant to be an entrepreneur. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much for the presentation, Dr. Elsan. And for our participant, if you want observation, you can raise your hand or you can write in the chat. For our first question, we have the question from Mr. Randy. What key indicator or personal trait so individual looks for to determine if they are truly mean to be entrepreneur and how can they liberate this quality to success in the world of entrepreneurship? Thank you. Well, let me see the question again. Uh, I... I will write again in the room chat. Okay, yes. Yeah, from Mr. Randy. Uh, thank you very much, Randy, for your question. Uh, Randy's question is, what key indicators or personal traits should individuals look or to determine if they are truly meant to be entrepreneurs and how can they leverage these qualities to success in the 
world of entrepreneurship. Actually, in our uh, presentation, we give the main characteristics of the uh, uh, entrepreneurs uh, who are the, meant to be entrepreneur. Uh, here, we will say the first main character is uh, the courage and self-confidence. These two key uh, characters make the people uh, to be truly entrepreneur. The first, yeah, they have to believe in their ideas and the, in themselves. And the second one, they have to be able to take actions, to take the risks, and uh, to uh, to be courage uh, to start their the business. And the second question is Aska. What are some practical steps and self-assessment techniques that inspiring entrepreneurs can use to evaluate their entrepreneur potential and make informed decision about pursuing this path? Uh, Ame. And the last question, this question from Mr. Aska. Uh, so the, uh, what are, yeah, I, I already read this. Let me uh, have a review this question. What are some practical steps or self-assessment techniques that aspiring entrepreneur can use to evaluate their entrepreneurial potential? and make an informed decision about pursuing this speed? So I, I uh, could uh, give you an example from uh, my uh, uh, real life. Uh, so I actually, like 10 years ago, I uh, started uh, a business, but I ran it for three years, then I stopped it. But uh, I can give you the, the practical uh, steps. I would uh, stay, say the first practical step is like uh, you have all the characters we mentioned above before, but you have to act. You have to start uh, your business. It is the writing. The first thing is writing your business plan and believing in your business plan. The first step is uh, if you uh, write a good business plan and are able to start your uh, actions and your carriages, even without the, uh, I would say, uh, finance, you could start your business. Because I uh, could give you an example from my life that I started my business uh, with zero capital. And I wrote my own business plan. Uh, actually, it took a few months to write it, to make the researches and other things like this. At the end of uh, the business plan was ready, I took the courage uh, to start my business plan. And uh, I was, uh, uh, it was uh, succeeded actually. So I would say uh, the first uh, practical steps to make the good business plan. Thank you for your question, Aska. Thank you so much for answering. I think it's very clear as well. And we, before I close this event, we will go to, to the next session for 10 recommendations. Okay, for all participants, please open your camera. I will take a picture on the cone of three. One, two, three. Okay, another one. One, two, three. Smile. Thank you. Thank you for your keen cooperation. Finally, we come to the end of webinar today. We would like to say it to Dr. Elsan and Ms. Elinda and Dr. Sako for the wonderful information. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. We hope this information will be beneficial for our participants. I hope we can meet again in another event in the future. Uh, and thank you and have a nice day for everyone. Thank you so much for Dr. Elsan.
Thank you and goodbye. Thank you. Okay.